Okay, so here's kind of a picture that we see starting from one black, two yellows. And what was the path when we were flipping our coin? What path were we following? Well, so we were, we were going down this path. Yeah, so we, we ended up seeing a lot of yellows accumulating. Yeah. And when you see that there are two ways to get here, four ways to get here, six ways to get here, are you surprised that we ended up over here? Yeah. Mm. Actually, no, because there's Cause six ways to get there. Well, okay. that's half the total ways. Yeah, so it seems like half the time because it seems like there's 12 total things we could look at, and hmm. half the time you're going to end up over here. Hmm. Okay. And we did end up over here. Yeah. Let's see if we can understand what the next branches are off of these. Well, let's see. Well, Which where, where do you want to start? Just start at this end. Okay, so this is where we have three blacks and two yellows. Three blacks, two yellows, well we just add up. We... Well, there's three because of the three There's blacks. three ways to go down that branch. So there's six total. Six. So we're going to end up here six, six different potential ways. How many ways are there to go down here? Well, two, well, you have... This branch. There's two. Okay. Two ways to go down, so there's four. Alright, so that's going to contribute to four. How about this one? And So you're adding a black. Yeah. So there's two ways to get down there. Okay. So that would be eight. Eight total. No. That gives you eight, that gives you four, so there'd be twelve total ways. Twelve ways to get here. Then right. how about going down this branch? It contributes a, a two. Well, but no, four, there'd be three ways to go down this way, because you're running oh, yeah, yeah, another yeah, yellow. The opposite direction. Yeah, right, so then I can pick a yellow of three like ways. Twelve. So this contributes to twelve, how about this one coming down this way? Six. There's only one way to do it. Okay. So, so that that'll be eighteen. Eighteen ways. All right. And well, let's see. You, you get have... another yellow. There's four ways to get a new yellow. Okay. So Twenty-four ways. It seems like eighteen. Oh, it looks like it's a little less than half to get all the yellows. Oh, this time. interesting. We didn't get all yellows. We got another black. Ah, interesting. Well, so, mm -hmm. you, you have multiples of six here. Okay, so what does this add up to? So, this adds up to six times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This adds up to sixty. Okay. Sixty, and then this is twenty-four over sixty ways to just keep getting yellows. So, it's a little bit bigger than a third. Right. It's still the most likely case, but it's no longer that you're going to be here half the time. Other. You're going to be here less than half the time. So you do seem to eventually want to Keep probabilistically it. adding blacks. And they get, they're so complicated, it's the probability of you getting this is keep going to go down and down and down and down. Yeah. And it seems a little bit more complicated than Pascal's triangle, too. Mm -hmm. Do you notice any patterns in the numbers here? Let me move the multiples, so these are, so they're all multiples of the first number. Well, this oh. is, these are multiples of one, multiples of two, multiples of six. Okay, any special multiples? Well, there's not, there's not always the squares. I mean, there's squares here and here, but there's not the six squared. Okay. Hmm. See anything else in those numbers? Well, the last multiple here seems to be the first multiple of the next row. Oh, that's interesting. So you go up to the highest one you can, take multiples of that, then you go up to the highest, take multiples of that. So this would be 24 here. It would be interesting to see if that continues. 96, maybe. <laughs> well, it would be very interesting to see if that continues. Okay. So we speculate the next one over here might be 24. Yeah. Okay. What about the multiples of six? What which multiples of six are you seeing across well, the here? First, it's the first four multiples that are positive. Interesting. And okay. here's the first three and the first two. And, how and about the here? first one. Ah. And the first so two. it seems like there are some pat just like Pascal's triangle, it seems like there's some patterns hiding in mm, these looks numbers. Looks like there'll be 
five multiples here. 24, 48, 72, 96. Ah, so we can start speculating about what the next row is going to look like. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Wow. There's one other pattern I, I only just noticed now going down this side. What are these numbers? 1, 2, 6, 24. And you're multiplying by 2, then 3, then 4. That has a name. Fibonacci. Not Fibonacci. It's not the triangular numbers. Not the triangular numbers. Mm -hmm. This is one. One times two. Factorials. One times two times the, three. The factorials go down this way. Seeing some pretty cool numbers hiding in here. Mm, wow. All right. Well, I just wanted to show you that because it's a different a different way of building up, putting balls in an urn called Polya's urn. And it seems pretty cool. It seems like there's some pretty neat numbers in here. And uh, it seems like it might be a fun thing to try to study and just see what happens. I'll put them up. Maybe I can do it with jelly beans when I like host a party and they have to guess. I'll, I'll put them in that way. That's a great idea. That sounds like a pretty fun party to me with jelly beans. <laughs> cool. Good idea. All right, guys. Any other questions? No. Okay. High five. Great work. Great work.